Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video, and we're back with the direct landing script. This will be our 11th attempt. We had three successes. Attempts 6, 7, and 8 were successful, but then attempts 9 and 10 were not successful, which means the method that I'm using still needs some refinement. So let's just go ahead and switch camera views here and jump back into it. So we're going to, you know, do more or less the same thing that we've been doing, but, you know, we're going to use the previous failures as our guide to hopefully uh, help us uh, do better this time. But it does, we have seen that it depends a bit, you know, on the exact circumstances that we have for a given flight. So let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, no intro. Kill rotate. Retro open. Vertical speed. Left shift escape, right shift escape. And going to bring up interplanetary on this side because this uh, this approach clearly works it just needs refinement and we're going to target Brighton Beach and we now know the altitude is negative 2566 and we have been using this negative 0.3 anticipation angle and I think that's pretty good it seems to always have us right next to the landing site, so I'm going to stick with that. Uh, we may need to refine that a bit further, but I think that's pretty good. So we didn't get the full hour, so let's keep that in mind. And as before, you know, we'll start with 2700 on the low end. That has us at 715. We have quite a bit of Delta V in this one compared to other ones, so we'll see what happens here. So, but uh, let's go. So that was 27. Let's try 2800. So that saves us substantially. Let's try 2,900. And we're going to go with that. That's the most I feel like we can do based on that amount of time. So 2,900 and burn. Go ahead and switch over here to log our data. So 2,900 and we're still doing that one. I added another column over here per the suggestion of somebody who watched one of my videos for the impact velocity. I thought it was a good idea. However, as I was uh, looking back at the previous videos, I did notice that just before impact, like I think on this one, I was at like 330 something meters per second. And a moment later, because I hit pause and I was like stepping through it, not quite frame by frame, but like second by second. And just one moment later, I crashed and I had this number. So um, that impact velocity, I don't think it's capturing uh, I don't think Orbiter is properly reporting the, the the velocity upon impact, so I don't know how useful that's going to be. All right, switch back and uh, we'll go retrograde, and we'll go ahead and set our hold value for something like we think we want. And I have a feeling, based on these numbers, that we're going to have a really high velocity this time, so we may want to. Uh, do like 110% of our ground speed because uh, like we saw in the last video when, when the velocities are really high we can't use that 40%, 50%, 60% it's, it's, we hit the ground and even using 100% of our velocity as reported by ground speed in the last video wasn't enough but we were so close that I think if we had, and by the way there's a lawnmower and I, I, I'm not in a soundproof booth or anything like that so um, sorry about that. Hopefully that won't be too annoying. I'll try to talk a little bit closer to the mic. And my heart rate monitor is not reporting. Okay, we won't worry about that for this video. Not sure what happened there. Doesn't matter. Um, so we're in the retrograde position. We'll go ahead and bring up our camera on this side. And if I go previous three times, yeah, that gives me the back camera. Bring up map on this side, target Brighton Beach. I don't think that really matters so much. In fact, I might I might even stop doing that. We'll bring up ComNav on the side, and again, we'll go 132.15, even though the actual frequency is 132.20. And GPS V2L, go to the memory, and get Brighton Beach for our long range. All right, now, in fact, because our velocities are so high, I wonder if we could somehow end up in a situation where we would end up burning where we would need to begin the burn before we even got to 400 kilometers. I don't think so, but what we might do, let's get a bit lower first. Let's turn this off, kill rotate, kill rotate a couple times. Let's get down to a thousand kilometers up 
and then we will see how things are looking and if things are really high compared to what they have been on previous flights we may actually do our figuring at 500 kilometers instead of 400 so let's go ahead and get down and and we'll come out of time warp right now okay so yeah we're moving we are moving fast so I think yeah I think for sure this time we're going to go if, if we're gonna figure everything out at 500 kilometers this time because I feel like we might be moving so fast that if we wait till 400 kilometers it might be to the point where it, we're either very close to or already past the point where we need to begin our burn all right so with that in mind let's warp time forward get down to 500 kilometers and come out of time warp a little bit more and when we get really close to 500 we're going to input our data so a little bit closer and now all right, DV for VS is 2998, enter, give that a second to populate, and control P to pause. 176,210, okay, so that's not as much as I've seen, but this is going to be a massive range compared, I think, because we're at that, where there's over a thousand meters of difference here, thousand meters per second of difference. So let's go ahead, bring this up. So according to our vertical speed, we need 176,210 meters. Now again, that's not as high as it was on the last couple of attempts but I think we're going to find that the range is really high on this one so let's switch back over here let's unpause let's put in our DV of 4067 enter give that a second yeah that's very high pause okay so we're gonna have a big range this time like we haven't seen before and that's what's going to make figuring this out so difficult all right 322,165 meters 322,165 meters and now we're going to copy our information down so yeah we have a range that is double what it has been before so we're currently paused so we have a chance to think now hmm this is tricky to figure this is going to be tricky to, to just try to anticipate you know the outcome here um, I mean, one thing we can do, we could always start the burn early, and but but the thing is, trying to figure out when to stop and start, stop and start. That's that's some mental gymnastics that I don't think I'm capable of. So if we started the burn at sixty percent, like we had on our other successes, we would be doing it at two hundred and sixty, two hundred sixty-four kilometers but I worry hmm let me just think what what feels right based on what we've seen so in this one our velocity was higher than it has been but the, and the range was tight and this even at a hundred percent it wasn't enough on this one our velocity is not as high as it was here but it's also higher than it was on our successes but the thing is we have a much bigger range than we had on our three successes because on our three successes we had you know a fairly small range compared to this hmm what to do let's let's do this let's start the burn at 70 percent so 200 and 78 kilometers and then we'll just try to feel it out not really sure what else to do because i don't really feel like we need to go 100 percent but i don't know this is this is where we need you know better data and better calculations i do have a better calculation and we will cover that in another attempt but i'm just wanting to see if we can do you know some guesstimates of some sort but I'm starting to think that these guesstimates are just not going to be reliable. So I think we're going to have to rely on a more difficult calculation. But um, we'll cross that bridge on another attempt. 
So let's, yeah, let's plan on starting the burn at 70% and then we'll feel it out. So 278 kilometers, final decision. Switch camera views, unpause, back to real time. And the lawnmower is going to be back here pretty soon, so it's going to be obnoxiously loud. So 278 kilometers, we're going to begin the burn and try to feel things out. Alright, let's increase our descent rate, if we ever get to that point. Something like that, and 278 kilometers. Let's bring up uh, GPS VTOL. <clears throat> All right, 278 kilometers, we begin the burn. I'm questioning that. Let's go retrograde, don't forget that, very important. Hmm. What I... Well, another piece of information that might be helpful is to know what is the vertical speed at the time that we begin the burn. Uh, there's there's a lot to figure out here. So 278 kilometers, that's what we're going to do. 278 kilometers. 278 kilometers. Alright, we're almost there. So at the very least we can get rid of the bulk of the vertical speed and beginning the burn. So let's go ahead and warp time forward. Yeah, I feel like we're going to be able to kill the main engines. In fact, I'm going to do that now. So let's get a bit lower. Because we're, we're still at 80 kilometers, that's quite high. Let's get down to 50 kilometers. Let's get down to 40 kilometers. All right, let's burn off some more of the speed. I feel like we're undershooting the base at this point. We're going to end up in the mountains. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and continue this burn a bit longer. And at 500 meters a second, I think I'm going to kill the burn for a moment. Yeah, let's get down a bit lower. Yeah, we're going to be missing the base substantially this time. Very, very unfortunate. And I think we need to get rid of the rest of our velocity because we're coming in over the mountains. So we're in, that's something we're going to have to keep in mind. down a bit more and I don't think we're gonna have the velocity or the DV for this burn okay now I'm gonna go to basically zero on the vertical speed really close to zero yeah sorry about the lawnmower and all right kill the burn go level let ourselves spin around we are in rotation go ahead and put down the landing gear now Speed up that rotation. Put in a bit of uh, hover. You were clear to land. At least we didn't hit the ground this time. Okay, we are a ways out, so we need some main engine to move towards the base faster. Yeah, I don't think we have the fuel this time. Let's switch over to our front-facing camera and front down, and the landing gear still in the way. Um, yeah, see, we've got quite a ways to go. I don't think we've got the fuel this time. Go ahead and take out some of that. I think we need to move forward faster if we're going to have any chance of making it over there in the time we have left. But I think, no, we're not going to make it. We don't have the DV for it. Look, we're down to 150, and we still have to get rid of 111. And we are high, we're still, yeah, no, I don't think we're going to make it, but let's just see how far we can do, because at least we'll have the experience. And let me go ahead and take out that 
hover hold or that little bit of hover let me put in just a little bit more hover though because we still have to get over these mountains but I just don't think yeah because once this number gets below that number we can't make it and honestly by when if you add that and that together we can't make it all right well so this was a this was a DV fail or a time fail whichever one comes first so right now I'm gonna say we can probably go ahead and get rid of our hover but um, yeah we can't we can't land let's go ahead and put down the landing gear at the very least maybe they can suffocate on the ground hold, use our remaining DV just to soften the impact, although I think maybe if I were in this situation, I might just want to point the nose at the ground and go full blast and just put me out of my misery. I don't think I, yeah, I, actually I would definitely prefer that. I would not want to suffocate. So I'm probably not doing them any favors here, but that would suck to be so close to the landing site. You can see it and just your salvation is just meters away and you're not going to make it. Um, just putting in a bit of down velocity, but yeah, we're going to hit pretty hard here. So I'm going to call that a DV fail because we ran out of delta velocity before we hit. So that's going to be a DV fail. Turn that off. Turn, not going to try again. Let's go ahead and log our result really quick. So we began our burn at, I don't actually remember. I think it was the 70% mark. Yeah. So it was G11, no, G17. And we had a DV fail. Because honestly, if we had had enough DV, we would have made it. Um, well, maybe we made it. We might have had a time fail, but um, anyway, so that's going to be it. So that's like four attempts for today, uh, one success, three failures. So I think I think what we're seeing here is that uh, trying to eyeball this flight <clears throat> is going to work for you sometimes, but not all the time. So I think we're going to have to dig out the the calculator, the protractor. 20 the compass and we're gonna have to figure out a more sophisticated way of calculating our our time to begin the burn uh, fortunately I, I already know that method but um, I was trying to f find something reasonable that would work um, you know even if it was only like a 75% success rate then that's something but I think you know I, I think the success that we're gonna have with this uh, spreadsheet that I'm using here is, is is too low of a success rate so so in the next video we're going to dig out some more um, some more math so with all that said I hope you enjoyed uh, watching these uh, these videos and I'll see you in the next attempt